Всем привет, друзья! Добро пожаловать на этот канал из Австралии. Меня зовут Александр Ридоринкин. Только что я забрался на Большой Холм Университета Южного Креста, кампус Лисмар. И здесь очень много различных зданий, различных факультетов университета. И гордость университета является кампус инжиниринга. Различных инженерных дисциплин, которые сегодня мы будем исследовать. Поэтому пойдем, посмотрим, что здесь есть интересного. И вы все увидите сами своими глазами. Не забывайте, что Лисмар это региональная Австралия. Если вы учитесь в Лисмаре, вы получаете после вашей, вашего graduation три года рабочую визу для студентов. Называется Graduate Visa. И если вы получаете визу на три года, чтобы получить опыт работы, вы откроете все двери, какие только хотите. В общем, пойдем и посмотрим, чего там есть интересного. Мы идем сюда. Главный кампус. Сейчас мы посмотрим, что здесь есть интересного, и вы увидите, конечно же, что это школа инженерии. Это гордость университета, ребята. Пойдемте посмотрим, что здесь есть. So what do you have here? I heard that uh, engineering building is one of those things in university that the university can be proud of. We're very proud. Our, our program's been running just over six years now. Yeah. Uh, and we're graduating civil engineers, yeah. soon to graduate mechanical engineers, yeah. uh, and a new degree in, in coastal systems engineering. Right. And we also have master's programs in uh, engineering management. Right. So what we're looking at here are our undergraduate and our postgraduate engineering facilities, mm -hmm. our laboratories in particular, which would be the, the, the real highlight of the engineering facilities here at SCU. Right. Yeah. So we use this for teaching uh, mechanical engineering, combustion engine design, suspension, electronics. Yeah. Cool. Here's a uh, soccer table for our, our robots. Wow, wow. That we uh, teach to our first year um, engineering students. But we also have a robotics club. Right. We have local primary and high school students right. joining and, and making robots, making lovely creations. So what is it? What is the competitive advantage of engineering school of Southern Cross University? Several. Definitely our facilities. Yeah. As you can see, or as you will see, they're really state of the art. Yeah. They're modern, they're engaging, they're fun. Yeah. Uh, we also have small class sizes, oh. so, so they're personal. How many students do you have in a class? Our first year classes would be a, a maximum of 40 to 50. Right. And our senior years up to about 20. Wow, so it's probably students known by their names. Yes, that's right. Wow. Yes, we know all the students by names. And yes. And in fact, the lectures become a long conversation. Right. So cool. it's not simply the teacher standing out the front delivering lecture material. There's a lot of dialogue and interaction. Right. So it's a theory and practice at the same yes. time. Yes, so definitely. Yeah, right. There's a strong practice uh, and also a strong theory and a strong implementation. Okay, cool. That's all right. So let's go further. Here's another laboratory. Wow. We call this our uh, Engineering Futures Laboratory. So it's, it's meant to inspire us about the yeah. future and yeah. lots of uh, interesting equipment. Ребята, пойдем посмотрим, чего там есть интересного. Come on in. Here's some of our robots. Yeah. So the uh, Lego robotics. Okay. Well, different kinds of ones. Yes. Yeah, so the, the students are, are quite free to to create their own robotic device and depending what the challenge is. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a manufacturing facility. We have 3D printers yeah. and uh, 3D scanners. Те, кто хочет изучать инженерию, наверное, все поймут, ребята. So it's original, printed. On 3D printer? Yes. Wow. So here's a 3D printer here. Cool. And here are some other creations that our, our students are, uh, oh, that's... are printing. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Okay. Cutting machine. Oh, yeah. So the printer starts from the ground up to create this cars and sculpts. Yeah. So again, it's for, for uh, mechanical engineering, manufacturing. Yeah. Machines, engines. Yeah. Cool. Over here. Modern materials, composites, fiberglass, yeah. carbon fibers, 
Kevlar yeah. that, they, that they make aircraft out of, for example. Right. Kevlar bulletproof yeah. vests. Yeah. So, so you, what usually happens once students graduate from the program? So where they can work with actually? So our students can work uh, locally, certainly, yeah. and around the country, but also overseas. Right. And in fact, 100% of our students are employed. Really? Most of them get jobs before they graduate. Oh, because some of the people say that, you know, if you study outside of Sydney and Melbourne, it's really hard to find a job after graduation. Not at all. Right. No, no, out here in it's regional areas, yeah. there's, there's a lot of work. Hmm. And especially uh, of civil construction, yeah. um, uh, manufacturing, mechanical, Ребята, это все мифы. I'm just telling to my students that it's just myths. It's a myth, definitely. No, we've we've got 100 percent employment. 100 percent, 100 percent of. Okay. And in fact, most of our students have jobs before they graduate. Really? Before they graduate? Yes. So how does it work? So say they start studying on the first year. So when can they have a um, uh, you know, internship? Well, by the end of the four years, they, they have to accrue 60 days of work experience. Right. So you can take that at, at, the, at the summer, at the end of each year. Yeah. And so students connect with local companies, local councils, local construction. Yeah, yeah. And Even they pick up jobs. Right, so both uh, domestic and international students. Yes, yes. Okay, very, very good. So they'll, they'll pick up a, a job, say, over the summer or for a few months, and that yeah. generally turns into a, a long-term commitment. Right. Or at least it gives enough experience. And what I know now with the recent move of the government to change the approach of education in Australia, so those who study in regional area, areas, and Lismo is one of the regional areas, they, they will be able to apply for graduate visa and work in Australia for three years after their graduation. Right. So if someone studies here for four years doing their um, engineering degrees, and then they would have a, a three years to apply the you know, theory and practical experience into the real workplace. That's very good. Oh. So our engineering degree, it's uh, accredited through Engineers Australia, okay. which is our national engineering body. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. And so any degree that's accredited through Engineers Australia, it's mapped to a so-called Washington Accord, which means it's recognised yeah, in many countries around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our degrees are either fully or provisionally accredited, which is a, a natural pathway for a young program. Yeah. Um, and, and our students are out there working in, 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 sorry, in the industry. And yeah. contributing. This is the second floor of our facility. So to bring a, a realism into the classroom, we uh, we get our construction students yeah. playing around with uh, construction equipment. Tonka toys. Yes, yeah. and putting them in the sand pit. <laughs> but, but there's a reality because we can simulate, say, a, a road construction project. Yeah. We want our students to be able to work in teams, multidisciplinary mm. teams, yeah. which is a really important quality for uh, today's engineers and future engineers. Yeah, you don't work by yourself, you work in a team, that's exactly no. right. Yeah. and each of the team member brings something unique. Yeah. So this is a first year project, it's, it's referred to as a Rube Goldberg machine. Mm. So it's, uh, it's about dropping a, a ball here which, which runs through the device and it, it triggers off certain things and ultimately it, it drops a brick and crushes a can. Yeah. So this is a first year project. That's right, it looks nice. <laughs> it's fun, gets the students working in groups, gets yeah. them communicating early on. Water Dynamics, which yeah. is a, uh, a, it's a water engineering laboratory. It's, wow. It's quite big, massive. Yes, and again, it's, the, the theme in this facility, it's, it's airy, it's open, it's bright, yeah. it's modern. So this is, it's the only one of its type in Australia. It's a, one. it's a flume, it basically runs water yeah. along the length of this open channel. Yeah. And we can put obstacles in the middle to simulate how water flows over structures. Wow. Weirs, it can help you design dams or spillways. Yeah. Ребята, это то, что вы так долго искали. Региональная Австралия. Все современное и модное. И самый последний пис техники есть здесь в этом здании. И вы точно будете окружены любовью, заботой, и каждый профессор из преподавательского состава будет знать вас по имени. А мы идем дальше. There's a wave generator, we can run sediment. Yeah. Uh, so an, an important research theme in our engineering program is around water engineering, yeah. coastal systems, coastal structures. So this is a key piece of equipment uh, wow. in realizing that strategy. Really, really good, really good. And the rest of this laboratory has a whole range of uh, teaching and research equipment related more to to fluids engineering, but we've also got mechanical engineering. Yeah, yeah. 
So we um, blow winds, so the fan is there and it's blowing the wind through there. Uh -huh. And in here we can put our device and measure the, the wind yep. flow, the wind speed around structures. Yep. This is a rainfall simulator. Actually, we'll come this side. So if, if we turn on the pumps, we can simulate rain yep. through sprinklers. We can measure how the water saturates the sand. Uh -huh. And once the sand becomes fully saturated, it forms a river and it runs oh, off. This is so good. If, if, if I wish if I had a second life, I would become an engineer. It's not too late. <laughs> it's not too late at all. Well, I already have four degrees. That's enough for me. So our students are a whole diverse range of ages, yeah. from high school leavers to mature age students. Yeah. Our most senior student is in his late 50s. Ребята, студент самый возрастной, который учится здесь на факультете инженеринга, ему почти что 60 лет. Так что и учиться никогда не поздно, поэтому приходите в университет Южного Креста, вот в эту красоту, и у вас будет все вот так. Я вам это гарантирую. Another point of differentiation is uh, our students yeah. and the composition of the cohort. With that diverse range of ages, yeah. uh, it brings just a lot of life experience into the classroom. Yeah. So it's not just about the lecture telling the students. The yeah. students can also contribute their own life experiences and, and add to the richness of the whole experience. Yeah. That's really good, that's really good. And it's probably what makes Southern Cross University, especially Lisma campus, and this building, and this uh, faculty unique. Well, Southern Cross University has a high portion of first in family and also mature age students. So that's, that's one of the university's uh, distinguishing features. Yeah. And it's the largest university, largest regional university in Australia. Right. So. Uh, and also, I would say, the most successful in terms of research. Yeah. It definitely is reflected from the recent Australian research assessments. Окей, okay, ребята, и сейчас директор факультета инженеринга, который будет э, помогать вам достигать самого лучшего образования в сфере инженерии в Австралии, хочет сказать парочку слов вам, будущим абитуриентам, но самое главное родителям, родителям студентов, которые заканчивают школу и хотят приехать в Австралию, в самый большой региональный университет Австралии, чтобы получить трехгодичную визу после окончания, чтобы получить карьеру и все, что хотите, все слово будет директору факультета инженеринга. Right, so now it's your time to say something to all those kind of students, future students, prospective students, but most importantly to their parents. Look, a, a very warm welcome. We would love you to come and study with us. As you can see, we've got fantastic facilities. Uh, you'll hopefully get to, to see some of our staff through future postings. Yeah. We have a young, energetic team. Uh, we love working with our students. In fact, we love learning from our students. We guarantee that you will, we will make you a fantastic engineer. Yeah who can either work in Australia or abroad. For parents, this is a fantastic place. It's a safe place. Yeah. It's a very affordable place. Yeah. And as you can see, we've got fantastic facilities. So we would be able to educate your children yeah. uh, in, a, in a very proper way to make them great engineers and to set them up for a fantastic future. Yeah. Welcome. Ребята, добро пожаловать в Университет Южного Креста в кампус на Лисмари. Спасибо, кто смотрел это видео. Подписывайтесь на канал на YouTube, добавляйтесь друзья в Facebook и ВКонтакте. Вся информация будет в описании к этому видео. Ну а теперь пока. Bye. Bye. See you soon.